Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is about self-sabotage. What is self-sabotage? How do we do it? Why do we do it? And how to overcome it? So what self-sabotage is, you're probably familiar, maybe you're not if you're watching this video, maybe you are, uh, is literally when we are on our way to reaching another level in our life and we're pursuing a goal, and what we do is we start having these uh, behaviors come in that are incongruent with our goal. So again, I'll use fitness as an example for many reasons. One, I think it's a great metaphor for life, uh, and two, I'm a trainer, so <laughs> it makes sense for me to use fitness. So specifically, self-sabotage, to use it as an example in the context of fitness, is if somebody is, say, making great progress, and you know maybe they've lost, I don't know, 10 pounds or so, they're starting to put on muscle, their body is changing, and they've been really good with their diet, and you know now they're consistent with the gym, and they feel really good when they're going. Maybe a couple of months into their journey, all of a sudden they say, man, I've been doing some good things. I'm seeing some good progress. I've been great with all of these good habits I've been forming. So you know what? It's okay if I you know, have a little cheat day. And it is, cheat days are good, but follow my, uh, follow my line of thought here. And so that one cheat day, they go, well, man, that, that cheat day was really good. And then they go, well, you know what? I'm, I'm super good, I got a handle on things. And they do another cheat day right after. And then, you know, they, they say, well, man, I've been doing such good progress. And instead of going four days or five days to the gym, they go, I'm going to take an extra day off. And they take an extra day off. And the next thing you know, they've taken another day off. And the next thing you know, they you know, went out and had too much to eat and drink that same night that they took a day off from the gym. So what's happening is slowly but surely, think of it like a poison drip, right? It's not like a punch in the face. It's this like slow drip of poison that you don't realize that you're doing to yourself in order to slow your progress, in order to sabotage the success that you've started to build. And a couple of reasons why we do this. I think one of the big reasons and one of the main ones, and I use this and bring this first reason up because this is what's prompted this video is I've realized ways that I've been self-sabotaging uh, my own success as I've started to grow my training business, my coaching business, these things. I think one of the reasons that we self-sabotage is because, and this is the why behind it, is there's a one, maybe a low self-worth underlying everything. And this is the main reason I realized that I was self-sabotaging and I was able to catch it. And my understanding of it, as it pertains to my own experience, and you may relate to this, is that having a low self-worth, in the context of the fitness example, was a way to go back to the comfort zone. Subconsciously thinking, you know, in the fitness example, man, this isn't really me, this isn't who I am, I don't feel comfortable with the way that I look, I feel great and I look great on the outside, but oh my God, I can tell how everybody's acting differently towards me, some people are harboring jealousy towards me or whatever, I'm getting this extra attention, I'm not comfortable with it. And so therefore, they don't think that they're worth this new identity that they're creating, all these good feelings, these physical results that they're manifesting through their hard work. So again, what they'll do, or what we do, is the subconscious belief is I'm not worthy. So the action on the surface is I'm gonna start sabotaging my diet by you know, not eating healthy foods or not tracking my macros or not going to the gym, and that's how it shows up on the surface. So subconscious belief, I'm not worthy of this new identity, this new lifestyle that I want to experience and I know that I really want, I just don't feel that I'm worthy of it underneath. So then on the surface, all the good habits that I built, I'm sabotaging those and going backwards in order to go back to my old identity. So why do we do this? Well, unless we've healed that subconscious belief or we've become aware enough of ourselves or the behaviors that we are doing or not doing, it's to return back to our old selves because we're not comfortable with the new life that we're creating. And again, it goes back because we might think that we're, excuse me, like I hear mama, that we're not worthy. So we are doing our best to slowly sabotage the progress we've made in order to return to our old identity and our comfort zone. So how do we overcome this? What do we do? Well, the first step is awareness. How do we identify that we're self-sabotaging? Well, if you feel like you've plateaued in your goal, whether it's your business or your money or 
uh, you know, again, your health, your fitness, and you're like self set you're kind of like in this kind of middle zone where nothing's happening, you're not necessarily moving forward, but you don't, you know, you're not quite back to where you used to be. It's a good sign you're self sabotaging. Sure, you might be tired and you need a little break, or you need to identify the behaviors and just really get honest with yourself and go, what's going on here? Why am I not continuing to see the same progress here? Uh, I'll use a personal example because again, I think it's a lot easier to identify self-sabotaging behaviors within ourselves when we're able to look at the situation of somebody else outside of ourselves and then we can identify and go, shit, I'm actually doing the same thing. So for my personal example, I'll take my online training business. Uh, I'm an online personal trainer, as you may or may not know, I am if you do not know. Um, and so I've been building this online coaching business and I only started it maybe a month and a half ago now and it's grown or it's begun to grow extremely quickly. Uh, I've been producing a ton of content on Instagram. I've been getting all these people hitting me up, either people that I know or don't know with questions. Uh, and we've been starting conversations anyways, the business has been growing. And my lifestyle, my goal, the, the thing that I have in my mind, my vision of what I'm creating, it's, it's beautiful. And it's happening so quickly, or it was beginning to happen so quickly. And you know, my body was just completely changing from my own fitness goals. And so I'm posting content about that. People are like, what the hell are you doing? You know, I want to do it and we hop on board and then we start training them. And what happened was, I started to one, sabotage my own physical fitness. I, I was kind of in a plateau. I did need a little bit of a break, but I'll stay on topic as far as the self-sabotage goes. Um, I was going off my diet a little bit. I did need a break in my training as well, but I wasn't working out as hard or, or as consistently. And so this was the first step of like self-sabotage. And then the second step was producing all this content uh, you know, staying on the straight and narrow of like not going out, not going and hang, you know, yes, you need to have a social life, but like not going out, you know, on weekends and like having drinks and like doing things that I used to do that just didn't serve me and help me progress to the level that I progressed at. Now I started doing these things again. I started, uh, you know, here's the big indicator, the course that I bought into the coaching program, um, I was just delaying and putting off and putting off and procrastinating and procrastinating, putting it off, finishing the actual course. And it was a way because in my mind, I think I was like, oh God, I haven't even finished this course. My business is already starting to blow up. Like, okay, am I really ready for this? Am I really you know, worth it? This is what I'm thinking subconsciously. But the indicator was that I wasn't going through and finishing the content. So this was like, okay, why? what's the block here? Like, why do I keep procrastinating uh, finishing this thing? I was so on fire. All these people were hitting me up. This content was building. I had this big energetic momentum. And now I'm not working out as hard. My diet, uh, I was slipping on my diet. I was slipping on my workouts. I wasn't finishing the content and the course. I was slowing down on creating content. So all these little tiny behaviors, it started with the working out and the diet, then I noticed it with not finishing my course, uh, wasn't talking and starting as many conversations with people, um, I wasn't as engaged in, in the content creating process specifically for my fitness business. And so again, I became aware of what I was doing on the surface and I was like, why am I stalling? Like what's going on? I was like, holy shit, I'm self-sabotaging. I'm self-sabotaging. I'm not doing the things that were building such wonderful and beautiful progress, both physically for my own personal physical goals and also for my business. And so I did some reflecting and, and some thinking about it. And I was like, why, what's going on? And I was like, ah, from a lot of the work I've done in the past, I know that, um, you know, the false belief of lo having low self-worth, like I'm not worthy of the life I want to live and have the things that I want to have and do all these wonderful things, these experiences of travel and all these things. It was still, there is still some healing about self-worth, like am I worth having these things? And so that was one big underlying belief that I identified that I had he that I have healed in order to move forward. But I wouldn't be aware or able to move on unless I took the time to reflect, to meditate and write about it and just sit in silence, go, what the hell is going on? Like, Pierce, you gotta get real with yourself. Like, what's happening? And therefore, again, identifying these behaviors on the surface, I was like, I'm self-sabotaging. Why am I self-sabotaging? And sit down and think about why am I self-sabotaging? 
oh, it's the self-worth stuff. And so, and part of that is the fear because here's what I've realized about growth and goals and going to the next level and also why we self-sabotage. Your old self is literally dying. The you that used to be you even a month ago or two months ago before you started this goal, it is dead. That guy is dead. That girl is dead. She's gone. And now you've got to anchor into your new identity and that shit is uncomfortable because we're programmed to stay with the comfortable because we don't like to go. It's it's programmed, hardwired into our bodies, into our DNA. It goes back to like primitive times. We don't like the unknown, right? We go to a new territory. That shit is scary. You know, before the world was discovered, right? You think about the pioneers of the United States landing on, you know, the original 13 colonies venturing out west. That shit is scary. We're programmed. We don't know what the hell is out there. So we want to stay in our comfort zone and it's scared to go off into the unknown. Your new identity, your new life is the unknown. So we've got to learn these things and be aware of them about self-sabotage, about anchoring into a new identity and embrace that fear of not knowing what it's going to be like because you don't know what that new life is going to be like. It's going to be beautiful. It is. But it's still new and that newness creates the fear because that newness is the unknown. So we've got to just be mindful of it and, and shine a flashlight on it and become aware of these things so that one, we can identify the self-sabotaging behaviors and two, identifying the underlying things. This is fear of the unknown. It might be low self-worth on, on, on the underneath of it all that's preventing us from actually moving forward into our lives and what we want to do. So it's really important to take inventory, time to reflect and slow down, especially again, if you've hit a plateau, maybe you just need a break, maybe you need to relax, create some balance, you've been going too hard. Maybe you need to reorganize and re-strategize because you're trying the same thing and the tactic that you're using isn't working. Or maybe you are self-sabotaging, which was my case. So I hope this video resonates with you. And uh, on that note, one other behavior on the surface uh, that I alluded to briefly as to how we self-sabotage. One, we break good habits or we form different ones or go back to old ways. And if you are someone who's going back into old ways, that's another surface level thing and uh, an identifiable action or behavior that you're doing in order to self-sabotage. You're going back and doing this shit that you used to do. So the, root, the beautiful routine that you, that you started to build that was moving you forward and building this momentum, you're going back to the old you. That's a self-sabotaging behavior. So look at that. The other thing, as I was talking about uh, me finishing this content, uh, this course that I signed up for, I was procrastinating. If you're procrastinating, if you've started to build momentum and you're procrastinating, it can be a self-sabotaging behavior. It can also be a... Um, a behavior that's preventing you from even starting so again it's the fear it's the fear of the unknown of not knowing what it's going to be like so we don't take the action so we put it off and put it off and say oh i'll do it later i'll do it later i'll do it later there's always going to be a later or another behavior on the surface um and i think i'm good about this one i don't think i've been doing this one but this is a common one is to make excuses about shit I can't start working out, man. I'm so busy. Dude, you're always going to be busy. <laughs> you're always going to have work. You're always going to have family. You're always going to have life events. So it's about creating a new identity, a new you that allows fitness and health or whatever that goal is, new habits to come into your life. You're always going to be busy. So if you're making excuses and you're procrastinating, that shit is fear. That's prevention. That's self-sabotage before you even start. But again, one I think is really good that I want to anchor in and reiterate is going back to old habits that you used to do. Now, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy things you used to enjoy, as long as you're handling the things that you need to handle in order to move forward. So I hope this video was helpful today in offering you an opportunity to reflect, uh, identify self-sabotaging behaviors, and then understanding the underlying beliefs, false beliefs that you have that may be preventing you from moving forward on the surfaceable actions and that's where the real shit starts, man. You gotta start at the very base level. So what is your belief system about success, this new identity? What fears are there? Identify those. And here's a, an exercise to do. If you feel blocked in something, uh, you know, maybe it's relationships, uh, maybe it's money um, or fitness, right? Uh, health, these are all the big areas in our lives, career. Ask yourself, what are my beliefs about this? And just get a piece of paper 
and let's say you have a goal write that goal at the top of the piece of paper make just make two columns and on one column say what are my beliefs what are my current beliefs and you this is where you just got to do the work you know when people say you got to do the work the work is getting honest with yourself and doing the tough shit and looking at yourself how you may not feel comfortable looking at yourself but you got to look at it and go okay what's what's this limiting behavior or what are these beliefs when you've identified those beliefs uh, you know an example would be okay a um, personal example for me my online fitness business here's the number I want to hit the clients I want to have the lifestyle I want to have what are my beliefs about this what are my beliefs about money that relate to this what are my beliefs about success uh, what are my beliefs about in my case the self-sabotaging the worthiness am I worthy what are my beliefs about worthiness about being able to achieve these to have these to do uh, all this this stuff you know, imposter syndrome, right? Oh, I have a belief. I, I don't have an imposter syndrome, but that's a very common one. It's like, oh man, am I good enough? Like, shoot, uh, what's so special about me? Am I capable? That's a shitty belief. So you've got to go back. You've got to identify these crappy beliefs. And then what, what you do is once you have identified all of the beliefs, both the empowering and non-empowering ones, you go back and you look at the ones that are not empowering you and you simply rewrite a belief on it. So the the crappy belief my example you know to use this for yourself would be i am not worthy of success that's a shitty belief so my belief that i get to rewrite on the other column would be my belief is that i am worthy of success i'm just as worthy as everybody else who's achieving the same level of success and more the only thing stopping me from achieving that is this crappy belief or this false belief that is no longer true that I am unworthy. So I choose to believe that I am worthy because I know that I'm worthy of achieving and having and being and doing all this stuff that I want to do in my life because everybody is equal and we all deserve to have love and success and happiness and health and joy in our lives. So sure, that's a, an, you know, I'm, I'm like kind of affirming, I guess, in real time, but you know, that would be a long um, rewritten belief. You can, you know, shorten that up, but you get the point. So identify the unempowered belief and just simply on the other column, rewrite that other belief. And when you rewrite that other belief, what you should do is go back and read these things regularly. Read it every day for 30 days. Whether you believe it or not, just go back and identify it because just by you identifying this stuff, you'll have a massive shift in your life. It's wild how this stuff works, this, this energetic, spiritual, universal energy and karma and healing and all these different things. When you just identify things and you bring it to light, you bring it to consciousness, you can easily start to make the shift and get back on track. So um, for me, now I'm like, okay, where did this start for me? This started by me instilling good habits logging my macros, hitting my macros, uh, having consistent workouts, seeing increases in my strength. This is what's manifesting the changes in my body. I am speaking and being what I coach and preach. This is how I increase that vibration and carry that forward as a coach, as a torchbearer for all the people that want to work with me and do the same thing in their lives. So this is where I start. So I've started to do that. Logging and hitting my macros, back on my workouts. Um, we're hitting it hard. Okay, great. Business side of things, creating content. How to, okay, am I consistent with creating content? Am I creating quality content that is of value to the ideal person that I wanna work with? Let's create some content. What's that person need to hear? What do they need to learn about? What do they need to see? Okay, fantastic. M make it happen. The hardest part is identifying the behavior that's and, and the belief. Once you've identified the belief and the, the root of it and you, you've just been like, ah, you got that bitch. <laughs> you got it. Then you've got to build momentum and just start doing the actions because it's funny the other day I was talking with my mentor with my coach and this is where having a coach and a mentor is so invaluable because we can see this stuff but when we talk to other people especially who have overcome the challenges that we're trying to overcome or are in a place where we want to be whether professionally or physically they can they can speak to and understand the challenges that you're going through because they've done it so for me I was on the coaching call with my coach the other day a group coaching call and I told him I was like dude I'm self-sabotaging like and I identified identified it as a a low self-worth uh, shitty belief and he goes yeah man he goes at this point dude like you've done the hard part you know what it is he's like so you just got to take the action man you just got to take the action and that shit was hard for me like I stalled for like a day or like a half a day and I was like why can't I why can't I just watch this 20 minute segment to finish this content what's going on 
dude, I was just getting in my own way. It's like, shut up, dude, just do it. So I did it, and now I'm like back in the flow. And this morning I watched another one, and like I'm gonna go train my client in the gym right now, and then go get my workout in. So I've identified that stuff, and now it's like no more, no more, because I reconnected with my vision and what I wanted. So reconnect with what you want. What's it gonna feel like? What's that life like that you want to live? That you were on the way to building. Do not stop. Get back on it. And it's okay if you were self-sabotaging. Don't beat yourself up about it. There might be some shame and some guilt in there. You got to identify those emotions, those feelings, and, and, and allow yourself to process that shit too. Because that is stuck energy that you've got to move through in order for you to heal and actually start going forward again. Or maybe not. I would recommend doing that and processing whatever emotions and feelings. Otherwise, that energy is still going to be in you. And as you move forward, it might come up again. So when you release it, you are freeing up more energy to focus on the things that you need to focus on, i.e., in my case, working out, tracking my macros again, starting to create content. Uh, and then I'm about to reach out to a bunch of people um, in order to generate leads for my coaching business. So take the action, identify this stuff, do that exercise about the shitty beliefs because it really starts about your belief system. When your belief system is in place and then you've reconnected with your vision of the future of what you want to do and now you're like oh these are the self-sabotaging behaviors you can like okay no more dude that is a shitty belief that's the old me that guy's dead we're going up here this is where i want to be and it feels so freaking good to be there in my heart so let's make it happen so i hope this helped please leave any comments or questions that you have uh, happy to respond uh, I got my email in the description below, uh, as well as my Instagram if you want to follow some of my fitness content. I do do a little bit of the self-improvement stuff on there too, but this is where I'm really able to dive deep into that. So um, this is kind of better for that. That's better for fitness. Either way, I hope it was of value to you. I would appreciate if you like uh, the video. If you like it, share it, subscribe if you have not. Uh, does help me to one, grow my channel. And yes, you're helping me, but more importantly, the opportunity or what we're trying to do here is help as many people as possible and the way we do that is by interacting with the video and all that stuff you get it it increases uh, the YouTube or helps the YouTube algorithm and get this video out to more people so not only helping me but more importantly if the message was valuable to you I promise you someone else will find it valuable too uh, and we're really just trying to help others so thank you very much for watching feel free to contact me with any questions I love you and I will see you guys next time peace